Hello everyone. The business required an exploration of sentiment analysis techniques of customer reviews using Vader and Robata. Vader is a valency aware dictionary and sentiment reasoner and Robata a pre-trained transformer model. Our aim is to understand how these approaches can predict sentiments and uncover their strengths and weaknesses. So basically, let's have a look at our data set. We, our data set has around 5,000 records. It has three columns, which is ID, Amazon review ID, score ranging from one to five. One is the lowest, five is the highest, and Amazon review comments. So going ahead, we have checked for null values, duplicates, we have done exploratory analysis for understanding our data, which are the most frequently occurring words, which if there are any slang words, if there are break, broken words, if there are abbreviations. And we have also checked with respect to uh, the out-of-box NLTK, uh, out-of-box functionalities, uh, POS taggings. Then we have checked with respect to the POS tags, uh, distributions, unique, unique distributions, that we uh, we had in our data set. Going ahead also, we can do n-gram analysis, bigram, trigram analysis to understand the context or the trends hidden in our data set. So moving ahead with the Vader, Vader sentiment, uh, we have, uh, Vader was developed as a part of NLTK, but it is now available as an extension. It is a lexicon-based sentiment analysis tool. So we have how the scoring uh, for Vader works. Uh, it shows either very, uh, how negative the statement is, how neutral the statement is, or how positive, and it gives us compound score. The compound score varies between minus one to plus one, minus being one being the most negative and plus one being the most positive. Here I have downloaded the uh, transformer from the Hugging Face repository, and uh, I have done analysis on few of these statements with respect to both Vader and uh, Robata and I have checked so I have found that uh, Robata works well with both, both positive and negative as well as sarcastic remarks whereas Vader uh, does not work so well with these statements. It does very well with the positive. So going ahead I have taken a, a data set, a test data set on which I, ha I calculated both the scores for Vader and Robata. Earlier, my uh, data set was around 5,000 records, but with the constraint of, uh, with respect to my uh, computation and resources, available resources, hence I had to uh, cut down on my data set. So ultimately, I once I had found the scores, I had I analyzed the data through pivot tables as well as through uh, visualization. So as you can see here, for Vader predictions, out of 10, uh, almost four, 4 were only correct and 6 were uh, wrongly tagged as positive. So red stands for negative and uh, uh, this stands for positive. So here as you can see, Robata were very confidently, it had identified the negative values also and positive. As you can see for Vader, there are few that are classified as negative totally. But here it has not classified any as negative, they are totally as positive. So in the concluding part, we can say that we can say that uh, wherever quick analysis is required and with minimal setup, we can Vader is a good choice. So it is it would be suitable for social media post comments and short snippets, real-time analysis. But Robata, where if you have access to computational high significant computational resources, uh, we should go. We can go for Robata, and wherever high accuracy is essential, or context, or complex context understanding, or semantic in the systems, there we do, we should go for transformers. That is Robata. This is it from my end. Thank you for listening.